Hey Motorman here, I'm at Wesley Chapel Harley-Davidson and I'm about to take a 2024 Road Glide for a little test ride. Let's take a look at it. And here it is, the 2024 Road Glide. And this particular one is in Whiskey Fire. That, by the way, is an $850 option, this particular color. It's, I think it's, it's one of my favorites. This or the Burst Blue, I would have to say, are the most beautiful outstanding colors they came out with in 2024 this bike also has the blacked out motor and exhaust and of course the 117 motor is now standard so if you compare this particular bike to my st you're looking about uh, three thousand dollars less money if you compare it to the special i think it's about four thousand dollars less money with the same equipment in my opinion beautiful bike from every angle the changes they've made to the body at first i was you know yeah it's okay but it's grown on me now i i think it's actually an improvement i can tell you that the fairing is definitely improved because when i rode the bike i got very little wind buffeting or head buffeting helmet buffeting whatever you want to call it so the aerodynamics are much better than the previous year now, as usual the first thing i do is check on the maneuverability now I can tell you right now, these bars are not adjusted for me. I would have to bring them down a couple of inches because when I go to turn near, anywhere near full lock there, it's quite a stretch for me. Just like the 23 and earlier models, you got now the 13 inch shocks on the back. That gives it more lean angle than you would have on the 2023 special and also the exhaust seems to be quite a bit throatier maybe louder than 23 and earlier models it sounds pretty good I'd probably still switch to uh, tab performance mufflers because I just love the sound of those of those mufflers and there's nothing to put them on now, if you're wondering what this is, that's my 360 camera. That's how you get the views where it looks like somebody's riding in front of me and filming backwards or riding alongside me. That's just a 360 camera. A lot of people have been asking about that. Now, of course, this all the street glides and road glides now come standard with the 117 motor. And it's got water-cooled heads. It's supposed to provide a little bit more power than the 117 in the 2023 Street Glide or my 2022 same bike. I actually don't feel much difference in power. I think it's only like four or five horsepower and you're really not going to feel that seat of the pants. Fairing is doing a really good job. As low as that windshield is, I'm not getting any buffeting. In fact, the where the air is hitting is like the very top of my helmet. So it's doing a great job of blocking the wind. I found that to be the same thing with the 2024 CVO street glide I rode. The standard street glides from years back came with a tiny little windshield that was pretty much useless. You had to change that. It, it, it really didn't do a thing. But as short as these windshields are, they've done something with the aerodynamics to make them just so much better at blocking the wind and eliminating buffeting. Smooth, really smooth. And that exhaust does sound nice. Granted, with all the wind noise you're hearing, you're gonna probably not notice that. If I remember when I pull over, I'll rev it a few times so you could hear that. Now it could be my imagination, but it seems like shifting is a little bit easier and you don't hear as much noise when shifting. But like I said, that just could be my imagination. Of 
course this 117 has got plenty of power lots of torque they really move you don't have to do anything to these bikes to get more power out of them I mean you can but I, I really couldn't see why I'm going to stop here and check out these different modes. Right now, I'm in sport mode. And here's the, the mode button right here. That's rain. Definitely a difference in throttle response. That's the road mode. Absolutely feel that difference. I'll try try that road mode right now I think at these speeds without so much wind you should be able to hear that exhaust like I said it's it sounds really good This is a fine, state-of-the-art, heavyweight cruiser tourer, whatever you want to call it. I might go as far as to say this is the second best tour of money can buy, in my opinion, of course. Your opinions may differ. I rated the CVO version as first, uh, the best touring motorcycle money can buy. This has to be the second best. The only, the major difference is slightly less power, but more than you're ever going to need. Harley Davidson has made a fine motorcycle even better. And I know that there's a lot of people out there may say, well, the Indian is better, or the Goldwing is better, or the BMW R18. But I think if you ride these bikes, and maybe back to back if that's possible, you go to a BMW dealership, try the R18. That was a bike, by the way, that I was not impressed with in the least. It seemed too big for what it gives you. Got some vibration right around 50, 60 miles an hour that tended to put a tingle in my hands anyway and as far as the Indian goes I just don't like the styling as much as I do uh, Harley Davidson's classic American style but again that's my opinion that's why people come to this my channel is is to get my opinion and I'm happy to give it to you you may disagree doesn't matter with me just put it down below in the comment section and uh, make sure you subscribe click the notification bell and if you would give me a thumbs up thanks for watching